Hello, it's Saturday the 5th of March. Welcome to the first weekend of our Lent Reflections from Live Lent, Embracing Justice, produced by the Church of England. In this first week, we are looking at justice in creation, and today's session is Making Sense of a Broken World. Our reading, somewhat shorter than previous readings, is Matthew 7, verses 1 to 5. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. The biblical accounts of creation affirm that all human beings are equally loved, equally valuable, equally worthy. But they also show us that human beings are equally flawed all are responsible for a broken world. The first reaction of the humans after eating the forbidden fruit was to blame, to blame each other, to blame the serpent, even to blame God. And in the face of injustice, our first instinct is often to seek someone to blame. It's all X's fault. We love to point the finger. Discerning truth and speaking truth to power are important, yet scripture reminds us that truth cannot be found through blame alone. Truth starts with us and our own failings. Acknowledging our part in the brokenness of the world, the way we have perhaps benefited from unfair systems where people do not receive a living wage, or where natural resources have been stolen from others, or where there is not a fair distribution of food, means we cannot stand in condemnation, but we have to stand with others who are condemned and know that we are all in need of forgiveness and grace. The truth, when we remove the plank from our own eye, prevents us from seeing the world as made up of goodies and baddies, but forces us to see people as people. Let's pray. God of truth, help me to see where my thoughts, words and actions hurt, damage and maim your people and your creation and to accept your offer of transformation. Amen. That's all for this week. We will be back on Monday with a week looking at Exodus and liberation. <laughs>